Hey guys, it's Sam. Um, it's Monday, September 6th, 2010, and I'm going to attempt to give myself my own shot um, while recording it. So I'm probably going to have to edit this because this is going to take me a while. Um, but yeah, alright, I'm now going to ignore you so I can focus on what I'm doing. Okay. Wash hands. Check. Vial of medicine. 22 that I'm going to inject with, 18 that I'm going to um, draw it out of the bottle with, 1 ml syringe, 2 alcohol swabs, 1 for the bottle, 1 for me, cotton ball, band-aid. And my sharps continue, that I'm still very proud of. I'm like nervous right now. Might be because I'm recording it, but it's probably because I haven't done it at home before. Okay. Put on the 18 gauge needle. Okay. So. So this is a 1 ml syringe. Uh, my dose is a quarter of an ml, so 0.25. Hmm, that's different. The one at the clinic, like, has rings on it to twist it on, but I'm going to say that's on. It's a little scary. With the cap on the needle, draw the amount of mLs in air that I want to inject. So, all the way down to so to there. And I'm just going to try just pull that on, palm, pull. the needle tip in the fluid, slowly pull back on the plunger until the proper amount is in the syringe. That's not very large. Pull past the amount I need to make sure that I can get the air out. Pull back all the tea from the 18 gauge. That's what I would get. Push the air back. Yep. Sounds good. Cut the middle. Divide it into three. Middle. Is it bad if it has some tea in it? Shit.
So this is really upsetting and I can't do my shot. It's just, it's not happening. Um, I poked myself three times and bled each time, just a little, just poked it a tiny bit in and it hurt and I would stop. And I feel like <sighs> exasperated and unhappy and upset and worried and frustrated and um, annoyed at myself and scared um, and I keep I keep being like well don't you want this and half of me is like yeah and the other half of me is like well <laughs> um, so yeah this is shitty I've been sitting here for like 40 minutes um, got my thing all ready to go but I don't know if I can do it. Uh, today's Labor Day. The clinic is closed. I can't call and have them do it, which is what the nurse said I could do if I couldn't do my shot. I feel like she, like, passed me too quickly. Like, I thought this already, but passed me too quickly from the um, teaching you to the you-can-do-it-yourself thing. Like I can say all I want, I can like convince myself, you know, but when it comes down to putting a needle in my leg, even though a lot of people are like, don't do it in your leg, but I haven't learned anything else yet, um, when it comes down to putting a needle in my leg, a wimp. I mean, I'm a big wimp. I'm a big wimp about everything. And this was going to be like this thing that I can do and like um, empowering. Instead, I just feel shitty. I just want to do it. I just want to be done with it. That's it. I don't want to do it. I want to be done with it. I'm also worried because, like, it's a fucking air bubble in here. If I'm, if I'm going to get the air bubble out, I'm going to squirt tea out. Um, that would be bad. I mean, now I understand why, like, almost all the guys at the group that I go to have someone else give them their shot. Like, this is not easy at all. And it's, like, really making me think, do I want this? And it's like, yeah. <laughs> like, I've, I've, I've figured out why this is what I should do. I mean, I'm willing to give it the old college try. It's just very upsetting. I just wish that like someone else could do it. I don't know who to call. I mean like, I put myself through a lot of medical shit. I've gone through surgery. I've swallowed horrible liquid things. I've had things shoved inside of me. You know, like, I put myself through so much medical shit that this should not be that big a deal. I mean, it's a huge deal, but, like, I've done so many things before. Why is this so fucking scary? I really don't mind if someone else does it. <laughs> Maybe I'll call my little friend. Hey, um, are you running around crazy busy or is it somehow a holiday? So here's the thing. I can't actually give myself my own shot. Like I keep trying. Like I've been here for like 40 minutes trying to do it 
and I thought maybe I would call you and you would be brilliant and then I could do it or something. <sighs> Okay. Well, I think I should maybe come over there because this probably won't happen if I just sit here. Bye. Okay. I'm going to my friend's house. He's going to give me my shot. Oh, so you need okay. to lift your shirt up a little bit and. You may or may not need to lower your pants, depending on how low they are. Well, like that's butt. That's yeah. hip. Yeah. Here, wait, I'm moving this way. What side did you have your shot? Or you've never had a shot back there, right? No, so but... it doesn't matter. But I had my first shot here and my second shot here. Okay, so, so we're back on the, the right side, side anyways, even though there's no scar tissue buildup. Yeah. Is that enough butt? Yeah. Hold that up. So it should be right about here. Because it's the upper outer... Quadrant. Am I like up on my foot enough? You just want to make sure that you have all of this um, relaxed. Okay. Your butt is such a different shape than mine. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's strange. Okay, are you ready? I guess. Sorry if I like gasp or something. Yeah, well, that's fine. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and I'll go on the next out. Oh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> But breathe loudly so I can hear you. Okay. Are you kidding me? No. You did it? Yeah. That was so fast. It didn't take very long. You're so brave. Yeah, when it's not on me. Oh my god. I'm so impressed. That was so good. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> that was so scary. Thank you. You're welcome. I gotta show my band-aid off. Oh, I think you missed with the um with the band-aid. Did I miss on the band-aid? Yeah. Was it right above it? There was a little red dot there too. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Right. That was dramatic. Learned I can't give myself my shot by myself yet. I used to be on T, so they know how to do it. And as you saw, not a big deal. He just did it uh, like a dart, like psh, into my butt, psh, out. It was like four seconds, like it was not long. He said maybe he could give me my shot um, for a little while until whatever, until I feel comfortable or something. He said that he would give me my shot um, or we could do it together. I could give him his shot. We could learn. Um, it could be some kind of communal thing. And I understand that it's supposed to be like a medical thing, but I'm feeling like doing it by myself right now. It's not happening. So, um, yeah. <sighs> I have tea in my butt. Uh, the day is fine. Everything's fine. Um, but it was just... I think uh, a learning experience. I think it's okay. I think we all need to take our own time in um, taking these steps. And I'm lucky enough to have friends who can help me. So good. It was really dramatic. And I hope that next week is better. I'm going to probably contact my friend and be like, okay, when can you do this? And... I think I'll just have to ease into it a little bit more than just, okay, do it now. 45 minutes later, still not doing it. It's not going to happen. Okay. Also, I've talked to a lot of people. A lot of people have other folks help them with their shots. Um, so that's fine. If you have any tips or suggestions or whatever for how you do your shot, I would love to hear it. Um, it's I, I was okay with everything. I just couldn't do the actual needle into the leg. I like poked myself in the leg three times and kept making myself bleed because I wouldn't go like all the way through. Love to know um, what people's techniques are. Okay. I'm gonna go relax. All right. Bye guys.